Hey guys, how are you? Brother Hill here, praying all is well. Coming back with some more food for thought. I wanted to share with you guys a message in regards to kingdom citizenship and also being a part of God's household. So we both we benefit both ways from being a part of his kingdom. With that, we get the benefits of being, you know, a citizen. And all of what he says, all of his citizens get to have advantage of, which is found in the good book in his word not only that we get to experience him on a personal level as well he's not only just the the judge and the ruler who sits on the throne in his kingdom but he's our personal father because we are his personal children who he created and made from his image and likeness which brought me back into remembrance of a tv show that some of you all may be familiar with uh, reminds me of the fresh prince of bel-air with will smith now will was uh the nephew of uh, Uncle Phil, right? Uncle Phil was the judge. He, but the show pretty much kind of uh, circulated around Will. Will come from a kind of harsh background from Philly and things like that. Got himself into some trouble. But he was sent to go and live in a different area, a different territory, a different place from where he grew up with his aunt. And his aunt husband so happened to be a judge. So... Not only did Will get to experience being in the presence of his uncle, right, who was a judge, right? So it was a lot of times that Will found himself into some sticky situations that he kind of uh, got himself into from his own ways of thinking like we do normally. But not only that, he got to experience his, his uncle being, you know, just what it says, his uncle, his family member on a personal level. So he knew Philip Banks a Judge Banks from being Judge Banks, but he knew him also as being Uncle Phil. So he got the best of both worlds. Everything was provided for him. He had the best and the latest and the greatest. Everything that he needed, he had in access. He didn't get everything he wanted, but he had everything provided to him, you know, that he had needed to help with his evolution, his evolving and his rising up as a young man and to be someone, you know, respectful in the community and in society and it's the same way with us with God we not only get to experience God as you know the Godhead the Elohim the self-sufficient one the self-existent one you know who created the heavens and the earth and who set the law who set the tone and everything for us to live under and he's the judge right we don't get to just experience him as that but we get to experience him as well as our personal father we have him on a personal end. We go into the silence and we pray. Our prayer starts off with our Father. So we get to experience him in that way as well. And to, to testify and to talk in regards to all of the personal things that he's done for each and every one of us. Every person walking on the face of this earth have experienced God's favor and grace and mercy in some kind of form, shape, fashion, or way everybody i don't care what background you come from but we have so it's a privilege and an honor to have god in our corner like that you know and we thank him for the blood of jesus because he didn't have to do what he done to give us restoration back to the relationship and to the government to, to the kingdom you know like the word says there is no remission of sins without the blood so you have to be in communion you have to be baptized in the holy spirit and cleansed with the blood of jesus and brought to him by jesus like he said nobody goes to the father but through me this was my blood that i took from me to sacrifice for you all as a lamb so again man it is a blessing a privilege and an honor to have god as not just you know the king of king which is jesus the lord of lord because jesus is god in human form so to have him the king of king and the lord of lord that sits on the throne who is the faithful who is the 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 the, the rightful judge right but also when we do sin and we repent for it and the detestable the enemy tries to present that case hold on wait a minute but they forgiven i've redeemed them all right so we get to experience our father like that, but then we get to experience him on a personal level. Get to commune with him, talk to him daily. Jesus is with us daily. He sent the spirit with us to be with us. And that's a beautiful thing. Yes, I'm going to provide all of your needs. Okay, well, since you say you know this from the constitutional right, the book, 
Okay, I can bless you in other areas too because I, that's just what Big Daddy want to do. You see what I'm saying? So we have a dual privilege of having our father in our lives. But you only get to take advantage of the things that you know when you know it. But you have to seek out them first too and do your own personal research. You know, not research, but you have to do your own personal studies because it's for your own personal development, your personal growth, and he's going to help. Jesus is always a present help in the time of need. Always. That ain't going to change. Not ever. As long as I've been alive, I've known that for sure. And I've experienced it as well. So, yeah, man, uh, I've watched the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for many, many years on rerun, too. I mean, <laughs> They put them reruns on, and, man, you ain't got nothing else to watch, man. I've been on Watch First Prince six or seven times, man, in a day. But, again, I, I never looked at it that way to know that, you know, the whole represent. I don't even think the people who played in the show, the cast members themselves, understood the spiritual side of the roles that they were playing, you know, how Will had Uncle Phil as, you know, hey, he's Uncle Phil. He's my sustainer. Uh, he has power of attorney over me. You know, he has legal uh, a guardianship over me. But then again, when I get in trouble, uh, if trouble comes my way, you know, or somebody throwing salt in the game and trying to hurt me or harm me, I have Uncle Phil as Judge Philip Banks, who is a rightful judge, and he can defend me. He can stand into in, in, in place for me and have power of attorney over me. You know, he's my banner for me. So it's the same with God. It's the same with Jesus. And man, it's a blessing, man. Uh, I, I, Holy Spirit, Jesus blessed me with this hip, this, this revelation of knowledge. And I was just sitting down, going through my studies, listening to my studies from Dr. Miles Monroe. Matter of fact, this particular video, uh, it was on YouTube that I was listening to, and then they were breaking it down, and then the light, again, it clicked on in my mind. I'm like, yo, man, that's the TV show, uh, Fresh Prince of bel -Air. It's the same. Yeah, so it's the same with us, man. It is the same. But again, I just want to drop in, share some food for thought with you guys. Again, y'all be blessed. Y'all stay good. Stay prayed up. Peace.